Hang on tight, because we're going to be looking at a golf course that is not even open to the public yet. You have to be staying at this very expensive resort to play it, and we're going to swing into it right now. It's Grand Terrace, Florida course. Now, this the history behind this is is unbelievable. There was originally nine holes, three nine hole golf courses here, and now they're putting together in 2023 two. 18 hole championship golf courses and we got a beautiful sneak peek as we go through at Grand Cyrus, the Florida course the one that's only available if you're staying at the resort so let's take a look and this isn't the first hole but most of these holes have tunnel water on it let's take a look at this is a fun golf review it's one we don't get all the time and this Florida course is in unbelievable shape and ready for the 2023 season where it looks like it's going to be open to the public that aren't staying at the resort. It's built in 1984 and that's because it was originally those three nine-hole golf courses. But all three of them were designed by Jack Nicholas. The third one, which isn't included in this 18-hole golf course that you're looking at right here, was in 1986. So let's take a look. There's a ton of tee boxes here, but if you're playing from the back tees, it is 7,075 yards with a rating of 74 and a slope of 127. And there's a total of six tee boxes to choose from. Now, we decided to go with the gold ones, which are about 6,070 yards and a slope of 124. And I, I tell you this much, the bunkers... And the water throughout this whole course becomes very challenging. It becomes the type of golf course we have to place your second shot. Now, currently, the clubhouse is closed for remodeling and will open in the summer of 2023. It does have a driving range and a little putting area. At the time, these greens were aerated, so they weren't the, the best greens. But I can tell you what, in a few years, this course is going to putt very true. Uh, there's, you know, on-site restaurant. But again, that's closed right now because of remodeling. Look at this little par 3 here, and it's a floating green, as you can see right here. And that's what makes this course so unbelievable. There's water throughout it. I mean, if you spray the ball left or right, you're going to find yourself in one of these giant bunkers. Or you're going to have to be getting close to, to trying to find your ball in the water because that's the type of course this is. And it's pretty long. Again, it's about 7,000 yards from those back tees. But even if you put a great shot in there, you could end up in one of these fairway bunkers. And the probably question on everyone's mind is how much does it cost to stay at the resort? You're going to easily pay about $300 to stay at this grand resort. Um, and then it looks like golf's going to cost you about $100. At least that's on the other course, the Lynx course, which we're getting a little confused on which one's which. But this is the Florida course, which is the more desirable course to play. And I can tell you this much. This was a special golf course, nonetheless. It's one of the most enjoyable golf courses on the trip throughout Florida, playing all the golf courses in there. And the greens were, again, uh, aerated, so they weren't the best. But look at this. I mean, this is another tee box here with water right on the side of it. You're going to find yourself water throughout this whole golf course if you do play it. And the course does have pretty good reviews online, about 320 reviews total and about a 4.5 in regards to the, the golf course. And that's pretty good. It's a full-blown experience playing this. This is a par 5, and just to get on this green and 2 is is. Is, is pretty challenging. It's not that far, but there's water right up there. You have to cross over the road to the, the other side to play a few more holes, but there's nowhere to hide from the water on this golf course. It's throughout this whole golf course. I believe almost every hole has some sort of water on it, and the bunkers are just pristine. They're in pretty good shape, and they get aggressive. Some of these bunkers, I mean, you could get yourself lost in them. For the most part, the course was pretty open. The fairways, as you can see right here, very good shape. Nothing to complain about. Um, the approach shots on these, this golf course is the most important thing. This is a par 3 here. Again, over water. You find yourself, if you don't put it on there, it's hard to even uh, get a bogey on this course uh, for most of these holes. But yeah, there's opportunities to score. Nonetheless, these par 5s, are definitely re some of them are reachable. That last one, you know, you get two good shots. We were right up there. Water throughout the whole course. You can really throw it away on your second shot going after the green. If you spray it right or left and a hard bounce off this fairway, it's going to go right in. And that's the one thing. It's, it's pretty firm. It's a firm golf course. And, of course, you know, as you know, it's been ranked top 10 resort golf course uh, from World Golf, uh, top 25 resort golf club from World Golf. 
It's won a gold medal award from Golf Digest in 1988, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 2000, 2002, and 2004. A couple silver medals there for Golf Magazine. Um, top 50 best golf courses for women by Golf Golf Women. Uh, you know, best golf resort for foursomes by Golf Galaxy or Golf Odyssey. Well, either or, this course has just won numerous awards, and it's going to continue to win numerous awards. It's just, it's a fun golf course to get out and play. You're going to spend hundreds of dollars trying to play this golf course, and it's going to be well worth it if you have a good time. And we ended up playing in the summertime. You really have the course to yourself around that time. You're not going to, you'll be stuck on some of these holes from what I was reading uh, and talking to some of the locals about. This is a fun golf course. We got more golf courses throughout Florida. We hit a total of four golf courses, and we're just kind of moving through. We're hitting more of them. Look at this giant bunker here. Again, these bunkers get so big, you don't even know what to do with them. If you made it this far, I highly subscribe. You keep a lookout for more videos to come. We're going to be hitting all the states. We're hitting all the golf courses. We might play every golf course in the world at this rate. This is World Twilight Golfer, and it's countdown now. Go, fly. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch. 